Hello and welcome to our weekly newsletter. Today we have a special episode about a new trend with our youth, vaping. First, let's welcome our guest, vaping expert, Dr. Le Pen. Thank you for coming in. It's great to be here. So I thought I'd just ask you a couple questions about vaping, so our listeners really understand the issue before we take to the streets. Sounds good? Sounds like a plan. All right, great. So doctor, is vaping anything to be really worried about? Of course. Vaping poses the same threat that cigarettes did only a few decades ago. In fact, one jewel pod contains the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Exactly. Most people are uneducated about the issue so they don't see how bad it truly is. The liquid contains a base similar to that used in cosmetics and food which helps maintain moisture without creating sogginess. One common base called propylene glycol, which is used in theatrical smoke, is known to cause irritation to the eyes and respiratory infections. So what's going to happen after prolonged inhalation in e-cigarettes? Scientists are still studying these effects, and even though in America the FDA has given the seal of approval, much is still unknown. E-liquid can also differ greatly between manufacturers with barely any regulation for additive. Well then, I'm glad I have you on to teach us. What exactly about these vapes attracts people? Well, there are multiple answers to that. Many people use these vapes as they were intended, a less dangerous alternative to cigarettes. However, there are people that don't understand that these vapes aren't completely safe. E-cigarettes are devices that heat a liquid into aerosol that the user directly inhales. These substances that can be inhaled include diacetyl, a chemical strongly linked to lung disease. They can also contain dangerous metals like nickel, tin, and even lead. Some have been found to contain diacetyl, a chemical that is known to give butter its buttery taste. Inhalation of this chemical can lead to scarring in the lungs known as popcorn lung, named after hundreds of workers inhaled the chemical in a microwavable popcorn factory and suffered irreversible lung damage. This is an example of how the lack of quality control in e-cigarettes should be a significant concern. But current evidence does indicate that vaporizers administer nicotine with far less adverse effects due to decreased carcinogenic products and smoke inhalation. But less harmful does not mean safe. E-cigarettes with added flavoring, such as blueberry or grape, have been found to contain other harmful chemicals. And secondhand smoke is still an issue. Exhaled particles from vaporizers known as ultrafine particles are known to affect pulmonary health. Others are worried that because these e-cigs are deemed healthier, that they're becoming more appealing for young people. A study reported that continued use of e-cigarettes for teens in grades 6 to 12 had increased from 6% to 20% over three years. On the other hand, much of the information we have on the adverse effects of smoking comes from long-term studies with cancers appearing much later in life. Since vaporizer use is relatively new, we simply don't have the same access to longitudinal studies. So we'll wait to see what the future brings. Oh my, well, Dr. Le Pen, you certainly scared me away from these things. I hope your message has done the same for our youth. Thank you for coming on. Of course, thank you for having me. Okay, we're now gonna go to our street side reporter, Christian Christie, to understand the viewpoint of young people on this issue. Today I'm with a self-proclaimed vape god. Let's do this. Do you know any of the uh, dangers of vaping? Yeah, I do, but it's not like it's gonna happen to me. I'm not worried about it. Well, why do you vape? This makes me look like a beast, especially when I'm in the school bathrooms ripping stick. And why do you think none of that's gonna happen to you? Just do, man. All right, I'm out, peace. Well, I guess that's it. Back to you in the studio. Okay, well, that was certainly interesting. It seems like he thinks he's immune to the consequences of vaping, but I'm willing to bet he'll find out that's not true. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to have you back next time.